Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you a new functionality in Mesh Morpher that allows us to stitch uh, morph targets from one mesh uh, to another mesh, right? So this is useful for uh, meshes like MetaHumans where the face and the body are already stitched, but uh, the morph targets, so when you modify them, you might uh, break that seam and uh, they will not uh, uh, stitch correctly. Let me show you an example. If we select the reference mesh, and uh, let's select the body. We have here a morph target. And as you can see, we have a huge gap here be between uh, these morph targets. Let me open test one here. So we want to fix this uh, huge gap here and we can do this by uh, stitching, right? This is a new functionality. In order for uh, this uh, functionality to be enabled, you need to select the morph target and also a reference mesh, right? And the reference mesh has to be already stitched. So their uh, unmorphed uh, state has to be already stitched, right? And uh, let's see how it works. Uh, let's select the stitch option. And uh, basically you could use uh, the defaults all the time, but if you require a wider uh, seam here, you you would increase this value. We don't need a wider seam, we just need a small seam, right? And we will smooth everything. So let's uh, press OK. Okay. Uh, it will tell us that uh, this uh, morph target already exists and we want to overwrite on the body. We select yes because we want the normals updated so they will patch this morph target, right? So let's press OK here. And now we have our updated uh, morph target that is stitched, stitched to the body, right? So as you can see, we have here a seam, right? We, and uh, we can smooth that uh, in order to smooth. You can select smooth tool, select boundary. You can see it will select this and uh, make sure you invert the mask. So this way we won't be able to touch the boundary vertices, right? So we can do whatever here, just move a little bit, right? Just do your thing and uh, let's save it. Okay, uh, now that the morph target has been saved, let's uh, test it. Let's load the, the morph targets, both of them on the head and the, the body, and see how they look. So this is how it looks. As you can see, they blend correctly. Uh, you can see the smoothness here, but if you invest more time and smooth a little bit more and better, it, this uh, would be solved. Also, you can change the textures and whatever, right? So this was a huge gap, so we had to to smooth a lot here. But we don't have any normal seams. You can see. And uh, I believe this is a great thing that uh, will help us uh, in case uh, we modify uh, the boundary vertices by mistake or we receive uh, some model for uh, from someone else uh, with the wrong boundaries and we can fix that, right? So this is it for this video, guys. I hope you like this new feature and uh, see you around. Bye.